Pattern it the yarn forward or round needle increase, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles. Special thanks to our sponsor Skissel for providing today's needles. Today, we are using their Addy Lace Interchangeable Clicks in the size 8. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. We're proud to introduce their Bon Bon line, which are little balls of yarn that are great for your everyday craft use and for color work. Today we are using yarn from their Brights colorway. So the yarn forward around the needle increase is usually used in lace and it's different than a yarn over because it's used when you're transitioning from a knit stitch to a purl stitch in your pattern. So if you want to create a hole or gap in between these two for a specific lace pattern, uh, you would do it a little bit differently than a normal yarn over. So you can see here in this pattern, uh, we had just finished a knit two together, so we're on a knit stitch and the yarn is in back. And so if we were just going to yarn over, we would bring the yarn over the front, over the top of the needle, right? And then the yarn would be in back. But because we need to purl on this next stitch here, uh, that doesn't exactly work out that way. So we insert our needle to purl and then bring the yarn over and purl it. It's actually going to give us this kind of weird bar stitch along the top, uh, which is really awkward to knit from. It's not situated right. Uh, so it's just not going to look the same. Uh, and it's just not as easy to work with. So what we do instead is we do what's called the yarn forward around the needle, uh, which is abbreviated YFRN. So for step one, we're going to bring the yarn to the front of our work. Since we normally we would be in back on the knit stitch, we're going to bring the yarn in front of our work, just like we would if we were going to purl. Step two, we're going to bring the yarn over the top of the needle. Step three, we're going to bring the yarn back around to the front of our work. And that will place the yarn right where we want it for a purl stitch. So then for step four, oh, I lost it. Step four, we're just going to purl our next stitch as normal. Okay, so let me do that one more time. I'm just going to undo this real quick and I'll talk through it a little bit more. So the reasons why it's called yarn forward around the needles because we yarn forward first and bring the yarn to the front. Then we bring the yarn around the needle over the top and back to the front. And having it back to the front is the key part of this because if we were just going forward and over and we were doing a knit stitch, then uh, that would be similar to a, this would actually just be a yarn over the needle, um, which we would use if we were going from a purl stitch to a knit stitch. So, um, so the yarn forward is bring them in front and back around and ready to purl. And a lot of people get confused by the differences between these abbreviations and sometimes they think, why not just do a yarn over? And this is why we use this specific style of yarn over uh, in order to make this lace stitch. So that's how you do the yarn forward round needle. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.